Hi everyone, my name is Dylan, and I'm here with Chris, Matt, and Shane. The four of us love music. We also really enjoy parties, but we've hit this really frustrating problem. Hosting a party is a ton of work. It's almost impossible to entertain your guests and manage a playlist at the same time. Everyone has different tastes, and so how are you supposed to keep them all happy without hiring a professional DJ? The answer is WeJ the app where everyone's a DJ. To explain this a bit more, I'm gonna hand it off to Chris. Hey everyone, we're WeJ. WeJ is a collaborative web app that lets users democratically choose what song plays next. As a host, you create a party and stream music from SoundCloud to your speakers. As a guest, you join a party, suggest songs, and vote on what song plays next. If other DJs upvote your songs, you gain DJ points and your songs play sooner. So I'm over here on the right, and I'm gonna sign in with Google. As you can see, I've borrowed Shane's phone. Thanks, Shane. And I'm gonna start a party. It's gonna be called Hiring Day. It's gonna be located here at Full Stack. Now that I'm in the app, I'm going to add a song. I think I'm gonna search for a nice, smooth track by Grammatic called Muy Tranquilo to really set the mood. Then I'm gonna get this song playing and add another song. Now I can head over to my songs to see how I'm doing. It looks like I'm doing pretty good, but I don't want to party off by myself. So I'm going to hand off to Dylan to talk about live DJs. Thanks, Chris. So as you see on the left, I'm going to join this party as an anonymous user, and I will appear immediately as DJ Splendid Cobra. I can also go search for songs that I want to hear, maybe a bit of DJ Khaled. And as I select those tracks, you'll see them appear instantaneously in the top 10 of all the other DJs. If I go to my top 10, you'll see I can't vote for my own songs. Uh, but other DJs can, and if they do, they'll move up in the queue. If I see a song I don't like, uh, I can, of course, downvote that song. And when I do, you'll see the DJ points of DJ Shane go down, and if that song accumulates enough downvotes, it will pop off the queue. So this is really the core functionality of our app. As you can see, we designed for mobile first, and we tried to make our UI as simple and intuitive as possible. However, behind the scenes, there's really a lot of complex queue logic that's driving our application. To explain that a bit more in depth, I'll hand it over to Shane. Thank you, Dylan. The primary technologies behind our application are Node, React Redux, and Firebase. We chose to use Firebase because its built-in socket functionality allows users to remain synced to a party in real time. Now, Matt and I will explain the, the queuing system that WeJ uses. On the, I will explain how users push, so push songs directly to Firebase, and Matt will explain how the server pulls songs through the queues to keep the music going. On the client side, we use an object-oriented programming paradigm to implement our own Firebase database manager. This database manager, when a user enters a party, immediately re requests the current party state. Then it sets up listeners to listen for any changes in that party and dispatches all of this to the Redux store. Because every component in our application has access to the Redux store, when a user wants to add a song, they can add it directly to the database without a call to our server, our node server. For example, if there are nine songs in the top 10, a user adds his song directly to the 10th slot. And now I will turn it over to Matt who will explain our server architecture. Thanks, Shane. So our node server has two primary functions. It allows clients to query and receive songs directly from the SoundCloud API, and it manages the flow of songs and voting in each party using a custom server-side database manager. This database manager monitors the state of every active party on Firebase and applies our queue logic to determine which songs get played next. Number of votes and time since added are the primary factors that affect a song's queue position. Both our server-side database manager, which we called Fire Chief, and our client-side database manager, which we called Fire Boss, are modularized using JavaScript ES6 classes. A single instance of Fire Chief runs on our node server, while a new instance of Fire Boss is created for each front-end client. This setup allows us to easily manage complex real-time data flows and also makes our application highly testable. Thanks for listening. Our app is live at wej.me.